I think it's very important as we talk about the Sabbath. This is not a day for all the things you can't do. Uh, that, that would be a pathetic way to see the Sabbath. If you visualize the Star of David, it's the convergence of triangles making a six-pointed star. And the convergence at the top of one of those is quite narrow. There would be some things that I'm limited in doing. We, we, we don't do some things on Sunday that we might have done appropriately through the week. And so there's a coming to a point at the top. But the flip side of that Star of David is the expansiveness that those are open-ended. You just reverse that triangle and those angles go out and out and out. And that's the blessing that comes with the Sabbath is on the one hand, as we do restrict ourselves in some areas, the consequence, the resulting freedom is tremendous expansiveness that we have not had. We would not have had any other way. It's a day of dues. It's a day of blessings. I had to learn that as a young man. I remember as a teenager needing to grow into that view of the Sabbath, but it's certainly been one of the rewarding things of my life to see it that way.